hello guys so welcome back to my channel so um this video is um tungkol uh, kung paano i-clear yung cache ng ng computer natin so yun uh, makakatulong to para mas speed up mapabilis yung computer okay and also yung pagba-browse ninyo sa mga browser ninyo okay so ayun Um, let me know guys kung ano yung magiging resulta sa inyo pagtapos ninyo sundin yung um, yung guide na to uh, madali lang to guys madali lang tsaka mabilis lang kayang kaya nyo sundan so let me know, comment lang sa baba kung ano ang magiging resulta and then yung hindi pa nakasubscribe guys please subscribe, like like this video and then share Okay, and don't forget to click the notification bell, okay, para updated kayo sa mga videos ko. Okay, so before tayo magsimula, uh, mag-intro muna tayo, then watch the video hanggang matapos. Alright, so... Okay guys, pahabol lang bago tayo magsimula. Make sure lang na nakalagin kayo sa computer ninyo as administrator. Okay? Para magawa natin walang restriction sa lahat ng mga step-by-step uh, -step na gagawin natin. Okay? So, tara na. Ito na talaga. Magsisimula na tayo. <laughs> Hello guys. So, yung video natin ngayon, katulad ng sinabi ko kanina, Tuturuan ko kayo kung paano uh, linisin ang Windows 10 cache para uh, to boost yung performance and speed up yung Windows 10 ninyo. Okay? And also, um, para mas mapabilis yung pagbabrowse ninyo. Okay? Alright. Okay, guys. So, mag-start muna tayo sa Windows Operating System. So, click nyo lang yung search. Then, click nyo yung um, percentage, temp, and then percentage. And then, Click open. Okay. And then ngayon, uh, yung lahat ng folder na yan, yung folder na to, okay, I uh, click uh, or select all nyo lang or highlight nyo yan lahat and then delete. Okay. And then ngayon, i-close nyo na. Close nyo na yan. Tapos na tayo. And then, ang susunod ay click ulit yung search. And then, type ninyo run. Okay, and then type ninyo sa run, um, temp ulit without the percentage. Okay, pwede nyo hit enter and then, or okay. And then select all again. Select all nyo lang yan or highlight nyo yan lahat. And then delete. Okay, skip nyo lang guys. Click nyo lang yung box na maliit and then skip para tuloy-tuloy. And then, close nyo na. Okay. Okay, by the way guys, don't forget to subscribe um, and like this video. Okay guys, so next is, punta tayo sa C drive. Okay. And then, dito guys, usually makakakita kayo dyan ng folder na ang pangalan ay Windows Old and Windows 10 Upgrade. So, kung meron kayo nun, i-delete nyo na lang. Okay. And then, after nyan, wait, ah, okay. Okay, i-click nyo yung Windows. Double-click nyo yung Windows. I-open nyo yan. And then, hanapin ninyo guys yung software distribution. After ninyo hanapin yung uh, software distribution, um, hanapin ninyo yung downloads. And then, select all again, then delete. Okay. So, kung nagtataka kayo guys kung bakit uh, konti na lang yung laman ng mga 
folder ko kasi nakapag-clear na ako kahapon. Okay guys, and then next is click nyo ulit yung search and then run and then type prefetch. Ayan, prefetch and then hit enter or click OK na lang. Okay. And then click nyo lang yan. Okay. Ito naman guys, ito yung mga programs na hindi naman na ginagamit sa system sa system ninyo. So clear uh, i-click clear niyo lang 'yan, select all and then delete. Okay, skip niyo lang. Yung mga naiiwan diyan, guys, 'yan yung mga tuloy-tuloy uh, pa rin na ginagamit ng Windows ninyo. Um, okay lang 'yun. Okay, next is yung disk cleanup. So usually talaga ito yung madalas na ginagamit kasi ito yung mas madaling gawin. Okay, so ngayon, kiklik ulit natin yung search and then type this clean up. Okay. Um, select nyo yung C drive. Okay. Lahat ng box na, na yan, guys, i-check ninyo yan lahat. Ayan. C drive ulit. So, i-check niya guys kung gano kalaki yung space na, na makiklear natin. So, medyo maliit na lang itong uh, makiklear nito sa akin kasi na-clear ko na kahapon. So, it's um, 80 MB, Mbps, MB na lang to So, yun. After niyan, check niyo kung naka-check naka, naka lahat and then click OK. Ayan, maghihintay lang tayo guys. Mabilis lang to kung konti lang naman yung uh, i-clear. So usually kung marami, kung first time yung magki-clear ng disk is matagal to. Okay, by the way guys, sa mga nanonood diyan, don't forget to subscribe, okay? Like and share this video. Okay guys, so next is kagawa tayo ng bagong restore uh, point. Okay, since na nag-clear na tayo ng cache, uh, dinilit na natin kanina. Or meron pa tayo mga i-delete pa dito. Ngayon, click nyo lang yung search. Search ninyo yung create restore. Open nyo. Ayan. Okay, click nyo lang yung configure, uh, configure. Okay, and then, yan, makikita nyo dyan yung data usage. I-clear nyo. Clear lang yan, guys. Okay, and then after nyo i-clear yan, okay, move mo nyo yung Ayan, yung max usage to 5% and then apply. Okay, and then balik kayo sa general. And then create, create new restore point or create. Click nyo yung create and then type nyo dyan, ako restore 2021. Ayan lang. Ayan, create. Ayan, magkakreate na siya ng bagong restore point. After nyan guys, i-click nyo lang yung okay. Yan, click okay. Okay guys, so next is clear naman natin yung sa Windows File Explorer. So, open nyo yung folder dun sa pinakababa. And then, click nyo yung view. And then, option. And then, click yung, yung, yung view. And then, show hidden folders. Click nyo yan. Dapat tayo na nakaklik. And then, go back to general. Okay. And then, meron dyan clear. May dalawang box dyan. Kailangan nakacheck yan pareho. Ayan. And then, press okay. Then, close nyo na yung window na yan. 
Okay guys, so next naman is um, sa Microsoft Store naman tayo, or Windows Microsoft Store. So, uh, i-clear natin yung cache nito para mas mapabilis yung um, pag, um, pag-search ninyo. So, it, uh, open nyo lang ulit yung command prompt or yung uh, CMD. Type nyo yung WSRESET.exe. Ayun lang. Ganun lang guys. Lalab- may lalabas sa another window. Close nyo lang yan. Ayan. And then, okay na yan. Yun lang yun guys. Make sure lang na nakaklose yung Microsoft Store ninyo pag ginawa nyo to. And then, sa internet, browser, or, or net, yung and network Wi-Fi. Okay. Um, ito naman yung mga browser, guys. So, usually, ang gamit ko lang talaga na browser is yung um, Microsoft Edge. So, punta lang kayo sa settings. Hanapin nyo yung privacy settings. Hanapin nyo yung clear browsing data. Okay. So, dito naman, guys, um, iselect nyo lang na all time. Okay. So, um, re- ako kasi, um, mas pinili ko na lang na uh, hindi ko chinek yung iba. Okay, pero um, pwede yung i- i- i-check yan lahat guys. And then, um, i-clear ninyo. Okay, make sure na alam nyo pa rin yung mga accounts ninyo and yung password. So, yun lang guys. Gawin nyo rin yan sa iba ninyong browser. Sa Google Chrome, meron din yan sa settings. Okay. Okay guys, so next is um, we will go um, i-clear naman natin yung cache ng DNS. So, uh, yun, um, tawag dito yung um, flash DNS. So, yan, open nyo ulit um, yung run and then um, open nyo ulit yung CMD or command prompt. I-type nyo lang dyan yung ipconfig space um, ba, uh, slash flash DNS. Then, hit nyo yung enter. Ayan. Ayan. Okay na yan, guys. Ganun lang. And then, close yun na yung window. Okay, guys. So, yung next natin gagawin is i-clear naman natin yung cache ng location history. So, same pa rin. Click yung search. And then, halapin nyo yung location privacy settings. Scroll down. And then, halapin nyo yung clear. Ayun lang guys, ganun lang. Okay. So, ayun ngayon, um, after natin gawin lahat yon restart nyo lang computer ninyo and then try nyo nang gawin yung usual yung ginagawa ninyo, yung mga in-open ninyo na application. Okay.